Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great. I'm Kanishka from Dwimski and today we are back with an another video where we will be learning how to open a custom page on command button click and pass the parameters in the model driven app. So let us start with the scenario we are having for the same. So currently I am in my sales app application under the lead entity. And if I select more than one records here, a custom button named as confirm lead gets visible on the main grid command bar. And on click of this button, a custom page will open up. It will include the details about the records that I have selected here. And if I click on this button to confirm the lead on the custom page, the leads selected or shown here get confirmed. Now let me show you the criteria how the lead gets confirmed. For example, if I am opening one of these leads records, here I am having a custom field named as confirm lead. So on the click of the button, here the toggle named as confirm lead gets turned on to yes. And to create such kind of a field, you can go to your lead form. You can just create a table column of two option set or yes no type and after that go under the components and add a component named as toggle here so for this particular requirement we have main three sub requirements the first to create a button on the main grid command bar of the lead entity Second, to show this button only if more than one records are selected at a time. And third, to pass these selected records data to the custom page and update the information. So let us start on these one by one. So here I am under my solution. Firstly, we will see how to create a custom page. So you can just click on here new, go under app and go under the page. For now, I have already created a custom page. So let me show you that. I'll click on edit, edit in a new tab. So this is how my custom page looks like. It's very basic as per the requirement I am having right now. So here, the selected lead record is basically a label that I have added. Whatever the records that you will be selecting on the lead view, those will be visible under this gallery. So here I have taken a vertical gallery and here I'm having the button. So let me show you all the power effects that I am using here in my custom page. So firstly, we will be starting with the on start of this application that is on start of this custom page. So here three things will be happening. Firstly, there will be a parameter that I'm going to pass that will be the GUID of the selected records and which I am passing as param record ID. So here what I am doing is I have created a variable, a global variable named as selected lead IDs and the value I have provided for this variable is the parameters that I am passing and this parameter is passed with the help of JavaScript and we will be having a look on that also. After that, I have created another variable named as lead record IDs array. What this variable will do, because we are going to select multiple records, so it will split all the record IDs with a comma and store it in a variable named as lead record IDs array. Technically, it will be a array. And the third thing we are having here is a variable named as lead records. Here I have provided its value as a filter. So what this filter does is it filters all the lead records. Then we are having the condition here. The lead is basically the lead ID, the GUID of the lead records. So I am filtering the lead records whose ID is present in this lead record IDs array. And after that, on the items property of my gallery, I have the same filter condition. Otherwise, I can put the name of the variables also that I have created.
created on the start of this application. So how this all thing works is we all know that whenever we work with the gallery, there are three things layout, data and fields. So layout I have chosen as title, subtitle and body, which means that we will be having three kind of information for a particular record. And then the data that I have selected is leads and specifically the items will be as specified here. And the third thing we have is the fields now because we have selected the layout with the three things. So here we are having options to add three fields. So I have selected the name of the lead. Then I have selected the company and third I have selected the city. So this is how the data will look like. Now the main functionality works on this button. So let us see what we have here on select of this button what this power effects will do for all the lead records now what lead records here is it is a variable that we have just created in the starting which filters the lead records so here for all the lead records which are in that variable now because we are going to update a field so we will be using a patch function and we all know that patch function requires three things if we are going to update an existing record, first the data source, then the record, and then the exact field that you want to update. So here the data source will be the variable in which all the uh, lead records are filtered out. And then we want the current record, the record that has been selected, which will be multiple, right? And the third thing will be the exact field that we want to update which is confirm lead and because it's a toggle button and we want to turn it on so we will set it as true if this condition works successfully then i am just giving a simple um, notification that the lead records are confirmed successfully so this is the functionality of my custom page so once you're done with your custom page make sure that you are also adding it inside your application you can go to add page and then click on custom page then select the custom page otherwise you can search it from here once you have selected it if you want to show it in your sitemap then you can check this checkbox to show it in navigation otherwise you can uncheck it and click on add now on click of a button we are going to call our javascript so let us see what code we are going to use so here i am having the function named as open confirm lead and i have added a debugger also so that i can debug this code after that i have created a variable named as selected lead record id this variable will have the id of the selected records which is passed to the custom page so we are going to use particular this method xrm.navigation.navigate to to open a custom page and it requires basically these two components page input and navigation options so let us see first the page input parameter so the page input parameter it will include all the details of the page the first thing is the page type because we are going to open a custom page so here we are specifying as custom after that we are specifying the name of the custom page as here we want to pass record id and what value i want to have the variable that i have created here so this is going to be the parameter which we are going to pass into our custom page with the help of js after that the second parameter we are having here is navigation option how we want our custom page to look like so we have chosen the target as two basically the number two indicates the web resource or the custom page then the position of the custom page because i wanted to show in the center so for center we are having a number as one then i have specified the dimensions the height and width of the custom page then i am having the title of the page like whenever your page will open up what the title what the heading it will have so i want to name it as confirm lead so i have done that and after that i have called this method and then 
a function is called out. So how this thing works like, we will click on the button. This particular function of the JavaScript will be called and through JavaScript, a custom page will open up. But after the custom page gets opened up, we don't want to call JS anymore. Every functionality of the custom page will be done by itself. So here I have kept it as empty. And if there is any error, then I am showing error on my console. This is how my code looks like. So I have already created a web resource for the same. Once you have created this, you can go to the sales application. Now, because the button is going to be on the command bar of the lead entity. So I'll click on the leads view. I'll click on command bar and I will edit in new tab. Now because the command bar is on the main grid form. So I'll choose this and I'll click on edit. So here I'm having my button named as confirm lead. You can give it label name. Then you can choose any icon for your button. And then the action because on click of a button, I want to call JavaScript. So I'll click on run JavaScript and then I will be specifying the web resource for that. You can click on add library and you can search for your web resource from here and you can add it. After that, I have added two parameters. The first parameter is selected control, selected item IDs. So what this parameter will do is it will set the control of the selected items. And the second we are having here is primary control. This primary control parameter is optional. And then I want to show my button on a condition. So I have selected the visibility of the button from show to show on condition from formula. And now let us see what formula we are having. So here on the visible property of this button, if the selected items, the number of selected items are greater than one only then show the button. Otherwise keep it hidden. After that, you can save and publish your command bar and don't forget to save and publish your application as well. Now let us see how it will work like. So I have randomly selected multiple records here. So number of records I have selected here is five. Now you can see as I have selected multiple records that is greater than one custom button named as confirm lead is visible on the main grid command bar. I'll click on this and a custom page will open up and we have specified the title as confirm lead and the dimensions as well. Now, because we have selected five records, so it is showing each record with its company name and its city. Now, once I click on confirm lead, the confirm lead field, the toggle button will get turned on to yes. And we are having the notification. Now let us see the status of the confirm lead button. I'll click on edit columns and I will add the confirm lead. So there should be five records and their confirm lead status is set to yes. So this is how you can open a custom page on click of a command bar button and pass the parameters to the model driven app. I hope this video is helpful for you all. If you like this video, don't forget to follow us. Thank you and have a great day.